your biggest level up, your biggest breakthrough, your largest amount of personal growth lies on the other side of the thing that you are most looking to avoid. And rather than trying to kind of hack this breakthrough by trying to find more information, by you're trying to find the perfect strategy or this one mindset hack that is going to eliminate all your fears and make you magically manifest all sorts of things. Obviously, it totally does not work that way. But that is exactly what most people do. And so if you're capable of just sitting in silence and figuring out, okay, this is the thing that I fear the most, and then you actively dive headfirst into that, most growth you're going to experience. This is something that I um, avoided for a very long time, personally, by not sitting in stillness. And so I would constantly be trying to be busy, try to keep my head going because I am extremely like dopamine driven. I need things going. I need to just keep pushing at life. The thing is that when you constantly do that and you don't properly evaluate what you are doing, you're constantly spending energy into the wrong things and you don't make any progress because of that. So yeah, I really want to challenge you to reduce your inputs as much as possible and just rather than trying to listen to 10 different people, first of all, only listen to the people that are in the position that you want to be in, obviously, but then a way different level beyond that is just listen to yourself, listen to your own creativity. If you're on any type of personal development journey, you're probably decently smart. So you have the brain power to figure things out and nobody's in the specific situation that you are in. Obviously, if you have a mentor who has literally been in the position that you are in, listen to them. Other than that, just reduce all of the information, reduce all of this, all of this stimuli, all of this clutter inside of your head and just focus on, okay, what is my inner voice telling me right now to do? And try to follow that for some time. Stop listening to the people around you that are telling you to do something else. It's just a complete waste of time. Even the people that have your best interest at heart, that are very successful, they might not want to live life the way you want to live life. And so you taking their advice, which I've done many times, is not necessarily the best advice. It's because your values are different. So build your own values and live by them. So I hope this is helpful. Let me know your thoughts. If you have any questions or whatever, shoot me a message and uh, yeah, wish you a good day.